Okay, so I'm going to show you how to import your grades from Schoology into JMC. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Um, first thing that you need to make sure is that your gradebook setup and your Schoology setup are the same. So in my gradebook setup, I have mine as um, weighted categories. Um, projects are worth 85s and Tangles 10 and um, online activities 5. This is the exact same thing in my Schoology as my JMC. So then I'm going to go back into Schoology once I have all my grades all set up correctly all my grades are in I'm going to go to options and I'm going to export and I'm going to import into another system and I press next and if you're in Chrome you'll see that it'll download at the bottom right down here and where that downloads is into your downloads so if I go into categories, or excuse me, back to JMC, I'll go up to file and there's a new thing that says import Schoology file and I click on that and I'm going to choose my file. My file is going to be in my downloads. If you do not see that, you can search for it up here and you'll be able to find it. Um, it will be gradebook export and then they'll put numbers for each one that you do. Um, at one point I had like 12 of these. so. Um, I would suggest maybe deleting them or renaming them once you've imported them. So I'm going to press open and then I'm going to analyze this file. And then this screen is going to pop up and it's going to ask you to choose which category you want these to go into. So for example, my hands goes into projects. My picture actually isn't supposed to go in. I'll have to delete that. Picasso is a project. Centangles. Centangles. Online activity. Centangle. And project. Now when I do this again these will be locked in so make sure that you have this in the correct place otherwise you're gonna have to go in and delete it and then um, re reanalyze it and re-put it in but um, if you change any grades um, any changes you make um, will be imported in you just won't have to choose these again so I'm gonna press import scores and assignments and I'll show you that here in just a second going to generate a report for me. And it says updated score. All right here. Updated scores. And then I'm going to go into scores and assignments. And they're all right here. And there was nothing put into here and there was nothing put into here. So that would be why they're um, not in here. So um, I can just go in. Um, since this is not a graded assignment, it was just a placeholder in Schoology. I can just go into my previous page. And I can go into my categories and assignments. And I can just go here and I can delete that assignment. And then I can save and, and there we have it. Um, it did for some reason switch these around so you may want to go back in and make sure that something didn't switch. So um, it should mine are all by points um, depending on how you do yours. So. Now if I were to go in and go to a different class that has already been had grades put into it, for example my drawing and design second hour already has grades put in it, I'll show you how that screen looks. And options, export that. Next, it's downloaded here. Notice there's a one behind it. Go in and import my Schoology file. Oops, excuse me. Notice these are all locked now because they were already um, imported. This was the only one that's not imported. So I would click on projects and then import assessments and scores and then your new ones will be put in and import it in.
see updated score. These pictures, there's no assessment found, so they weren't able to update the score because there's no grade in there. That's why that says that, because I didn't have a grade. In, there are no grades into that in that file, so that's why it says that. So don't don't freak out if if it says that. If you do have grades in there and it does say that, then um, see Heather or myself, and we will try to figure out why it's not doing that.